Hi, this is Dutch Coding and welcome to this short tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to install PrestaShop on your desktop or laptop. Before you can follow this tutorial, I will need you to install Examp and I have a video on that that you can follow a link to on this annotation. If you already have Examp installed, you can follow this video. First we're going to go to PrestaShop. and we're going to download the latest version click download now for me it's going to take about 12 seconds all right i'm going to go to my downloads folder and i can see i have fresh shop 1.4.8.2 now I'm going to copy this and put this in the root folder of my exam installation. That's the htdocs. I'm going to paste this so I have the zip file in this folder. And then I'm going to extract it with the Windows extractor. Now the problem with the Windows extractor is it takes a very long time to extract a file. So I'm going to speed up this video and as soon as it's done I'll continue with this tutorial. <laughs> the extraction finished. It took a very, very long time, but I'm going to speed up this video so you won't notice it. Finished. Okay, this is the files we got. And before I move them to the correct location, I'm going to rename this to demo because it's going to that's going to be the site name in the browser. And I'm going to cut this, not copy, but cut this to the top level of the root. So I'm going to go back to the HD docs. Remember this? And see, I was in this file. So I'm going to move the files that are inside next to it. There they are. And you can see this file is now empty. So I can delete that file. And all of the files that I need are in demo. Now, to install PrestaShop, you have to go to your browser, open up new tab, and first check if the control panel is on. Mine isn't, so I'm going to turn it on. Apache Friends Exam, then control panel. Turn on Apache and MySQL. Um, I'm going to need to make a database soon, so let's go and host slash and then demo in our case there you go this is the installation page so now we're gonna go through the motions um, it's gonna be in English I want to install it and I agree next um, it has checked if I have all the requirements and I do system compatibility is checked so it didn't show me the screen um, I don't have a database yet, so and I haven't set a password or nothing, so it's gonna stay root and no password. And I'm gonna change. I'm gonna create a database named PrestaShop. But just to show you that you can create anything, I'm gonna create demo Presta. That's gonna be my database name, right? It's not there yet, so it's gonna be red. So I'm gonna go to my control panel here or here show or hide and I'm gonna go to admin MySQL admin right here and I'm gonna go and create a new database so I'm gonna go to databases and create a new database and call it demo Presta create it has created demo Presta I'm gonna go back to my browser tab which has the installation or the installer here you go and I'm gonna verify it's connected to the database. You leave the prefix on and enodb is perfect. Now 
since I want to develop, start developing, I'm just going to install with every single module and a few products so that I can test things out. Um, don't configure this when you're on your home server because it's not going to work. I mean your desktop or laptop. Click on next. Um, give it a shop name. For me, it's going to be demo 1.4. And main activity doesn't matter, of course. So I'm just going to put other activity. And my country is Netherlands. I'm Dutch. And uh, first name, I'm just going to put admin. Last name, admin. Admin at admin.com. And a password. And don't receive this information by email because it's not going to be able to send it next and you're done now before you complete you must delete the install folder and usually you in the previous Presto shops you would rename your back office so I would do that too so first we'll look if the front office works click on that perfect it works it's already in Dutch because Presto shop is smart and it chooses your language, your localization language. So it chooses Dutch for me. Um, my back office is gonna say you have to delete. See, you have to rename it, admin, and you have to delete the install. So we're gonna go back to our root of the exam. So I have it here. I'm gonna go back the long way. So my computer, my local disk, my exam, uh, HD docs. And then I'm gonna go to the folder, the installation folder is demo. Um, delete the install folder, yes. And rename the admin folder for me. It's just gonna be one, two, three. That's okay. And I'm gonna refresh this file. I mean this page. Oh, can't find it because it's looking for the admin. One, two, three. There you go. And now my email was admin. Admin log in save this password for me and there you go you now have a working installation of Presta shop on your desktop for more videos just send a request to my youtube channel or on the press shop forums send me a private message if you like the video please like it subscribe and make any requests and i will do my best to create a video as soon as possible